Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to episode number 33 of Pop Culture Quick Bites. And welcome back. So on today's episode we're going to be having a look at the latest Bitmap Books release from Ants to Zombies. This was released at the end of October 2023. So this book is dedicated to featuring the history of horror related games from the 1970s all the way up to the 2020s. It features over 650 pages full of information and over 130 different reviews. So let's first look at the book, the front and the back, physically before we jump into all its main features. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the main features of the book, the contents and how they set everything out. The book is broken down into all different themes of horror as opposed to gameplay. And also features hundreds of different systems overall. Each theme segment also ends with an honorable mentions list. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the details of this book. One thing you'll notice is that it's not really based on a genre. Bitmap books really usually do genres like RPGs or they're doing games based on a specific system like the PC Engine or something like that. This one isn't anything like that. This one is more based on themes, obviously the theme of horror. So that means that the amount of games, the gameplay and the style of these games are completely different from one another, which is pretty interesting. The whole thing is broken up as you've already seen into themes, like different themes like space horror, forests, 
uh, haunted mansions, all that kind of stuff. It's really varied in terms of what games are actually shown in here. Another aspect is all the interviews. They got quite a lot of interviews in here about the making of some of these games, talking to some of the creators. My favorites being Paul Norman talking about The Forbidden Forest, one of my favorite games. Uh, Jeff Tunnel talking about how hard it was making Project Firestart. You got Jane Jensen here talking about the Gabriel Knight series, all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot more. Those are really excellent. I really love that behind the scenes kind of stuff. They usually have that in all their bitmap books releases. Another aspect is the writing is really good. Each game, although there's just over 130 games, which doesn't seem like much, it's really a quite a lot. Each game gets dedicated, you know, a few pages to each game. So it's not like your usual bitmap books release, which usually has a small little blurb about each game, maybe one page. This one has multiple pages for each game. So you're really getting a slightly more in-depth look. The look of the book is not as flashy as the usual things. It's probably mainly due to the fact that the subject matter is horror. So the book is really like a lot of black. <laughs> it's dark and, uh, it's not flashy by any means, but it's still very good overall. Something that I never get to show in these videos is how this book comes to you packaged. They really take a lot of effort to make sure you get your book in tip top condition. So let me just show you that. And now let's talk about a few of the negatives of this book. There's really not much I can say, but it really depends on how you take this next statement. It will depend on whether you're gonna enjoy this book or not. So there's a large focus on retro games, of course, but the majority of the focus of this book for the horror related games, obviously, is more modern. And when, when I say more modern, I'm old, so more modern means from the year 2000 onwards, you know, Xbox and that kind of stuff. So if that isn't your cup of tea at all and you're only into retro, you might want to reconsider or just take a look at the games list on their website to determine whether it's a book for you. There is a lot of retro in here, but there is more modern. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I didn't look at the list of games reviewed before I bought this book because I got so many of their books at this point. I have faith that it's going to be awesome and um, I really like it. Uh, the only thing I was going to say is that if it didn't have Forbidden Forest or Project Firestart in here, I was going to riot. But when I got the book and I went through it and I found those two games, I was very happy. So you can take those in a negative or positive way. It just really depends what you're looking for. The only negative thing I can really say about this book is the title uh, from Ants to Zombies. The reason why I say that is, you know, I grew up with the European and Japanese gaming scene. And uh, if you didn't though, if you didn't grow up with the European gaming scene, the title to this book is gonna make absolutely no sense to you, which I think really restricts the, um, the mainstream like appeal of this book worldwide anyway. Ants is a reference to a very early 1984 ZX Spectrum game, which was a UK computer. It also came out on the Commodore 64. The game was called Ant Attack, where you're trying to escape from these giant ants in this isometric maze. It's a very European specific game, and also it's very much linked to the ZX Spectrum as well. Neither this game or this computer is that well known outside of Europe. So that's the reference from Ants to Zombies. If you didn't grow up in the European gaming scene or know anything about it, you're not going to know what that is. You're not, not going to know what the reference is here. And it's it's going to make this book sound really weird to you. I think it uh, wasn't the best choice for this name. You should have given a slightly more broader appeal. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. The shipping, as per usual, I always got to mention this. It is pretty pricey if you live outside of the UK. So just bear that in mind. Like I showed you earlier, it comes packaged immaculately. I received this book. I ordered it about a week after Halloween and I got it like within about three or four days. I got it super quick. I wasn't expecting that. And obviously packaged excellently. So that's just the quality of bitmap books. Um, I'm always really impressed with their stuff. And that's another look at a really good bitmap books release. 
Thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. And if you can please like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.